Hey man, what is good with y'all boys on YouTube? It is 2K23, y'all. And this is my first video of NBA 2K23, you feel me? But y'all see the title of this video? I just went in the My Player Builder and I found a demigod guard build. Honestly, this might be one of the best guard builds so far in the game. And hey, like later today I will be streaming, so make sure to turn all your post notes on. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, because we're going to be going crazy all year. So first things first, you want to make the position shooting guard. Now for the body settings, I went six foot three on the weight I went 225 because everybody's been saying the more weight that you put on your player, the more badges that you will have. And I went 225 because I do see that I do get more badges, but I didn't go max weight because I didn't want to slow my player down too much. As you see, I still have a 90 speed. Now for the wingspan, I went six foot nine wingspan and I did that to have better defense. But here it is, my max potential build. First, let's look at finishing. I made sure to have Russell Westbrook dunk packages. In 2K22, that was like the best dunk package to have on your player. And I wanted to make sure that I could get that. So this build should be very good at attacking the rim. Now for my shooting, I made sure to get an 80 mid-range shot. With the balance build this year, you're gonna have to sacrifice some things and the mid-range shot is gonna be what I choose, you feel me? And also, I don't shoot a lot of mid-range shots anyway. I shoot a lot more threes. Speaking of threes, for this build, I went with a 91 three-pointer. That's literally what all play shots had last year. So I will be sparking. Now, for the playmaking, I went with a 92 ball handle. I'ma have every dribble move in the game with that. And 92 speed with ball, I maxed that out. For my defense, this is where this build really gets tough because a lot of the builds that these creators are making, they're really overpowered on offense, but they don't have any defense or any physicals. But as you're gonna see with this build, bro, that's not the case with this one. For the interior defense, we have a 69 rating. I will be able to stop post scores and slashers in deep in the paint with this 69 interior defense. I have a 70 perimeter defense. That's enough to be a well-rounded guard. This build is not gonna be a crazy lockdown or anything like that, but I did wanna get my steal up and my perimeter defense up. I just threw on a little bit for the block, so hopefully I can get some good blocks on this build. For the defensive rebound, I went with the 60. If I ever need to out-rebound another guard or I need to get lucky, I feel like 60 will bail me out like 33% of the time. Now, for the physicals, I told you we're not lacking on the physicals at all. For the speed, we have a 90 speed. You might be thinking, why isn't your speed maxed out? Because look up here, we have a 92 speed with ball. Speed is most important when you have the ball in your hand. Am I wrong? So that's why I only upgraded to a 90 speed. Speed will probably just be like running around the court playing defense, you feel me? So you really don't need that to be crazy high. And I've seen some other people going with like 80 speeds. For the acceleration, I went with an 80. I feel like that will be perfectly fine. For strength, I chose to put that at a 50 to stop post scores and stuff like that. If I ever need to, and people have been saying to put your strength up because it will be important. So 50, I feel like will be good. But if you don't want the strength, I feel like you could take it down and put it somewhere else, but I will have it where it is. Now for the vertical, I put the vertical club to be able to unlock some dunks like Russell Westbrook's dunk package. And for stamina, a lot of the 2K community was worrying when we got, were getting leaks that stamina was going to be a big problem. So hey, this is the perfect build if you're worried about stamina because we get a 99. And the available badge count will be 14, 25, 22, and 12. For the takeovers, I went with spot up precision just because that's probably gonna be the best takeover. And I went with pull up precision as a secondary just to have some fun fading. Now you wanna go my player build complete, yes. And look at the shades, this is actually really good. We have Tyrese Maxi and Donovan Mitchell to go, you feel me? And you have built a pure shot creator, y'all. Let me know what you guys think of this build, honestly. I think I just made a demigod that's gonna be one of my main builds for the whole entire year. The verse of the day is 1 Peter 2 verse 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye are healed. This verse is pretty much telling us that there is forgiveness in our sins 
through Jesus Christ when he was crucified on the cross. By him doing that, we don't have to suffer the punishments because he already did. We just have to be sincere to him that we're sorry for our sins and he will be gracious enough to forgive us. Kofi Kofi Kofi